Recently, all we hear about in space news is the Starship and Boeing's Starliner. However, there's another equally exciting spacecraft ready to launch, the Falcon Heavy. This gigantic rocket is gearing up for one of the most important missions of 2024, and today we will discuss this upcoming launch and its potential to revolutionize everything for SpaceX. Before we delve any deeper, please make sure to subscribe to our channel for future updates on SpaceX's groundbreaking achievements. When we hear about SpaceX's launches, it's usually about the Falcon 9 or the Starship tests. This is because Falcon 9 has become a reliable workhorse for various missions, and Starship represents the future of deep space exploration. However, there is another important player in SpaceX's lineup, the Falcon Heavy. This rocket stands out for its unique capabilities, making it perfect for payloads that are too big for Falcon 9, but too small for Starship. Falcon Heavy is essentially composed of three Falcon 9 boosters strapped together, providing it with significantly more lift capacity. Each Falcon 9 booster is powered by nine Merlin engines, giving the Falcon Heavy a total of 27 engines at liftoff. This configuration allows the Falcon Heavy to lift nearly 64 metric tons to low Earth orbit, making it the most powerful operational rocket in the world, second only to NASA's Saturn V rocket from the Apollo era, in terms of payload capacity. In comparison, the legendary space shuttle could lift approximately 24 metric tons to low Earth orbit, showcasing Falcon Heavy's superior capabilities. The first Falcon Heavy launch this year marks its 10th launch overall, and the first one of 2024, with a total of three Falcon Heavy launches planned for this year. Although the rocket isn't launched frequently, each Falcon Heavy mission undertakes crucial tasks not only for NASA, but for the entire world. The launch is scheduled to take off on June 25th. NASA awarded SpaceX a contract worth $152 million to launch the mission. The preparations for this mission follow a meticulous timeline to ensure the rockets and satellites successful deployment. The satellite, which promises to be the most advanced weather monitoring system yet, will be placed atop the Falcon Heavy rocket on June 13th. This step is critical as it involves securing the satellite for the upcoming launch. Following this, the rocket will be moved to Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center on June 14th. Launch Complex 39A is historically significant as it was the launch site for many Apollo and Space Shuttle missions. Once at the complex, the rocket will undergo further preparations to ensure everything is in perfect order. The final encapsulation of the satellite with Falcon Heavy will take place on June 22nd. During this phase, engineers will conduct thorough checks to confirm that all systems are operational and ready for launch. This involves a series of tests and inspections to ensure the payload is securely attached and all systems are functioning correctly. On June 23rd, the encapsulated assembly will roll out to the launch pad, positioning it for the final countdown to launch. This process is crucial as it involves moving the fully assembled rocket and payload to the pad and setting it up for launch. Engineers will conduct final checks and countdown procedures to ensure a smooth and successful liftoff. This is an extremely important mission that NASA has entrusted to SpaceX's heavy lift Falcon Heavy rocket. The payload for this launch is the latest weather satellite, and it promises to be the most advanced one yet. The first satellite in this series launched in 2016, followed by subsequent launches in 2018 and 2022. However, this new satellite will be the shining star in the constellation. Not only will it have all the bells and whistles like its predecessors, featuring instruments that provide advanced imagery, atmospheric measurements of Earth's oceans and environment, this mission is particularly important because it demonstrates Falcon Heavy's capability to deliver large payloads to orbit. Low Earth orbit requires traveling at an astonishing speed of approximately 7 to 8 kilometers per second, which translates to over 15,000 miles per hour. Reaching altitudes above 1,000 kilometers is necessary to escape atmospheric drag, as sustaining such extreme velocities within the atmosphere would have catastrophic consequences. If this mission goes as planned, the next Falcon Heavy launch is set for October 2024. This mission will also be a significant one, carrying NASA's Europa Clipper, a flagship mission designed to study one of Jupiter's largest moons.
Europa. While SpaceX is writing history with its groundbreaking achievements, Boeing is facing significant challenges with its Starliner spacecraft. Originally planned as a week-long stay at the International Space Station, the mission has now been indefinitely delayed. Late last night, NASA decided to move off the June 26 departure date and is currently working to determine a possible return opportunity. The delay is due to the need for more time to review data related to helium leaks and thruster failures that occurred earlier in the mission. Starliner launched on June 5, 2024, from Space Launch Complex 41 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida, aboard a United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket. The spacecraft successfully docked with the International Space Station on June 6. This mission marks the first crewed flight of Boeing's Starliner, carrying NASA astronauts Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams as part of NASA's commercial crew program. The mission faced significant technical issues, including one helium leak before launch and four more in orbit, along with five thrusters failing around the time of docking. NASA and Boeing leadership are now adjusting the return to Earth for the Starliner crew flight test spacecraft, aiming to review propulsion system data and resolve these issues before planning a safe return. The spacecraft is certified for a total of 45 days docked to the station, which means the team needs to gather the necessary data, deem the spacecraft safe, and send the crew back to Earth within this time frame. If not, alternative options will be required. As of now, the agency insists that Starliner is safe and will soon bring the astronauts back home. Luckily, SpaceX's Dragon is always ready to launch and rescue astronauts, but Boeing does not want to be rescued by SpaceX. They view this as a significant humiliation. Having a newcomer like SpaceX rescue the oldest commercial space company from disaster. By the time SpaceX was founded in 2002, Boeing was already a giant with a market capitalization of over $70 billion, boasting extensive experience and resources in aerospace engineering. SpaceX started with much smaller capital, but rapidly gained traction due to its innovative approaches and successful missions. Both Boeing's Starliner and SpaceX's Dragon were developed under NASA's commercial crew program aimed at creating a cost-effective transportation to and from the International Space Station. NASA awarded contracts to both companies. Boeing received $4.2 billion, while SpaceX received $2.6 billion. Despite receiving a larger sum, Boeing's Starliner has faced numerous delays and technical issues. Initially expected to be operational by 2017, the Starliner program encountered a series of setbacks that significantly pushed its timeline. Meanwhile, SpaceX, with a smaller budget, managed to complete the development of the Crew Dragon more efficiently. SpaceX has already demonstrated its capability to rescue astronauts when spacecraft issues arise. For example, in December 2022, a Soyuz spacecraft docked at the International Space Station suffered a significant coolant leak, and NASA considered using SpaceX's Dragon as an emergency lifeboat for the stranded crew members. This situation showcased Dragon's reliability and SpaceX's readiness to support even in critical scenarios. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.